what it do silly gang it is your girl Des, and we are back for episode seven of the real talks with Des podcast first and foremost i just want to thank you guys for supporting me thus far if you have not i'm going to give you a moment to go ahead and hit that subscribe button okay hit that subscribe button make sure that you like make sure you comment if you've gotten anything from any of my videos let me know because i definitely want to without further ado we are going to hop into the topic for today stay tuned all right guys so for the episode for today i know that y'all see that the atmosphere has changed i am in my bedroom because i wanted to have an intimate episode with you guys right i know that most of the time when i come on here like i'm giving advice and i'm like speaking to you guys on a motivational level but i want to just bring you into my world and let you know that your girl still has my own struggles too right like i'm still trying to figure out life and you know go through things accordingly in my life as well and yesterday um i generally study for things to talk to you guys about and i was just asking god to just put it on my spirit whatever it was that he wanted me to speak to you guys about on this episode for today and i felt like he wanted me to be transparent about the struggles that i have in my single season because yesterday was one of those days for me right so i got my drink yeah i get y'all drink and we're gonna chop it up right so yesterday was one of those days for me um it wasn't a hard day at work but it wasn't one of my best days right and i um got off you know unwind and I was in the bed and I had one of those moments where I was just craving companionship you know it's like all the time being in a relationship isn't about you know for me like what he gonna pay for and what he gonna do and you know sex and stuff like that all the time it's not about that for me um, my significant other is very important to me because I like the companionship that I have, right? I like being able to talk to somebody about how my day went. I like to hear about how their day went, you know, whether it be good or bad. Like, it's just something that I like to do, you know. I feel like that's quality time for me. So I was sitting here and I'm like, you know, I've been single for a minute, God. And I just had one of those moments where, like, I just broke down. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. Um, and I started to record that for y'all, but y'all, I, I just felt like that was a moment that I needed to have between me and God, because I know a lot of times we hear people say, well, we can't qu question God, but I did because I felt like God, well, I did everything that you told me to do, right? You told me to let certain relationships go. I let those relationships go. I knew that it wasn't going to be easy, but I still feel like I'm losing right now because at one point in time at least i had something at least i had somebody but then after i cried and everything you know i really felt like god had a moment with me and 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 i i came to the realization that i don't regret anything that i've done in my life right meaning i don't regret going back to exes or letting exes come back in my life i don't regret trying to um reconcile friendships and things of that nature because when you get to the space that i was in yesterday where i was like okay god what is it when you've been through those seasons of going back and you realize that even once i go back this is still not it i'm still not receiving everything that i feel like i deserve to receive from this person either then that's when i understood and i made it clear to god i said god i don't just want anybody you know like I, you can i can have a warm body i don't just want a warm body right i want the person that you have for me i want my kingdom partner i want my husband to share those moments with i don't just want anybody to share those moments with because we know we didn't slid back a couple times it's like damn man i'm tired of being alone i'm tired of being by myself you know what i'm saying and it's like once you go back that person is there for what they can get from, from you you know it's not a matter of them receiving and giving it's a matter of them getting they want to get whatever they can get from you and we don't got time for that y'all my drink look real good y'all want to see details listen in my past life i was a bartender mm, mm -mm. in my past life baby i was a bartender don't play with me but no seriously like i just had that moment and i just cried and i was like god you know it's hard like this is hard like i'm 25 years old and you know i want to have date nights you know i i want to have a companion you know but after i got finished crying because i want you guys to understand that it is okay 
some days you're going to have really good days, right? Because some days I'm like, God, I'm good. I don't need nobody right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, just keep them away from me till you read. Some days, like, I'm cool. Some days I'm cool in my singleness. But it's some, it's some days like yesterday that made me appreciate where I am in my journey. You know, even though it was hard, even though I was questioning God. Like, listen, God, I'm doing all this work. Like, work with me. You know what I'm saying? Give me hope that something is going to happen because I, I was at a point too where I felt like even within my single season, and don't get me wrong, I appreciate my friends that I have, but I know that we all have so much going on in our lives. And I just felt like, well, God, I want, you know, more trustworthy friends or people in my life who when I'm having a day like that too I can lean on them and I can call them and we can or link up for a glass of wine or link up for a drink um or whatever like I want more people in my life like that who I can you know have those type of moments with because I haven't just went through things on a romantic level but I went through things as far as friendships too within these last couple of weeks and I just felt like God I just need to pour out you know what I'm saying like I just need to release and that's why I told y'all to never be afraid to talk to God about the struggles and the things that you're going through because he knows. I just want y'all to know too that I'm human too. You know, I'm going through it too. Uh, but we're going to be okay. Um, I want you to think about when you went back to whatever thing or person that, you know, you once relied heavily on or, or was codependent on, did you feel fulfilled? Or did you still feel like you was lacking something? Because that's what I went back to mentally in my head. I'm like, well, I can have a warm body, but I don't want anybody. You know what I'm saying? Anybody just don't do for me. It doesn't work for me. And so I just made that clear to God. And I just feel like he's going to come through. But he's going to come through in his time. And I'm not going to rush him. Even though it gets hard. <laughs> I'm just like, you know, I'm not going to rush him. I have me a little drink. I cried it out yesterday because crying is therapeutic. I cannot tell y'all that I'm not enough. Like, like I told y'all, I'm not really emotional, but I am, I am sensitive. And sometimes it's just necessary for me to have that moment go. I just pour out and just really tell him how I'm really feeling. Because if you hold it, you'll break. You know, that's another thing. Like, I feel like people have this preconceived notion about, oh, being the strong friend. Yes, I'm the strong friend, but the strong friend goes through things too okay and the strongest ones are the ones that you probably should check on right the ones who's out who are always giving you advice who's always you know there and open and available for you we go through things too right and we consider we take into consideration the things that you guys are going through if you're the strong friend we take we take into consideration the things you're going through and we just try to deal with our things on our own you know um i have trusted family friends who I know that I can talk to, but it's just, you know, certain things I feel like it is meant for me and God to just hash out just being him, right? So I just want to let y'all know that, like, you're not alone and let yourself sit in that moment. Don't stay in it because you don't need a pity party, but you have to validate your own feelings, right? Yesterday, I had to validate my own feelings of feeling alone, and you know, in that aspect, like in, in having somebody to, you know, share my day with or whatever, like that's a part of the single season. That's a part of my single journey. Share it with God, you know, and I know sometimes people are like, well, child, I'm tired of sitting here with God. I've been single 10 years. I'm tired. But it's just like, you know, if he's called you to this season, he knows why. And I always try to keep in the back of my mind, like if he's having me wait, you know, for for what he's preparing for me then it's going to be way bigger and better it's going to be double for my trouble right he's going to do exceedingly abundantly more than anything that i was ever expecting for him to do right so those are the things that kind of help me get through but i just want to let you guys know that sometimes it's okay to not be okay you know if you have somebody that you know that you can call call them and talk you know um but sometimes it's important for you to just have that conversation with god to sit in your feelings to talk to god to talk to yourself so that you can overcome those things on your own right you might have five bad days in a row where you feel like i need to cry that's fine get it out it's okay to not be okay you don't have to act as if you're the strong person all the time let it out all right so that was my video my topic for today that um it's okay to not be okay it's okay to be struggling within your single season 
right? That doesn't mean I regret my single season, but it just means that I'm doing the necessary work in this season where I may have been codependent on somebody else in a previous season. Now I have to stand in those emotions and those feelings and that's okay, right? This is necessary. This is completely necessary. All right, so I love y'all. I'm not gonna hold y'all for too long, but I hope that this video, just like all of the rest of my videos, I hope that you guys um, truly get something from it. Um, like I said before, please be sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to my video. Don't be trying to shake up with me because I'm not the shaking up type of girl. That's not what I do. I don't shake up. I don't do that. I love the Lord. I'm a Christian. <laughs> um, but I'm not gonna hold you guys too long. Um, you guys, please make sure that you're safe. Um, please make sure that you have a great weekend. Um, and I love y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.